Let's look at how to create a copy of a case. The easiest way to copy a case is by right-clicking on the case row and then select copy from the resulting menu. A copy case model should open, which is similar to the create case model that we saw. The values for the various case attributes should be depopulated with the values of the source case attributes. We can choose to change the value as we need or leave them as is to create a clone of a case. Let's do that in this example and click on create case. A new case to do TC13 has been created and as we did not modify anything while copying, it should be an exact replica of to do TC6. Let's click on the case key to check the case details. As we can see, all the values have been copied over from the source case. We can even copy a case from the case details screen by clicking on more actions and then on the resulting menu, clicking on copy. Again, the copy case model should open with values pre-populated using the source case values. This time, however, let's make some changes. We can even click on add steps to make changes to the steps that were copied over from the source case. Here we can see the steps from the source case were also copied over. Let's make some changes. Let's click on save steps to save our changes to the copied case. As you can see, to do TC14 has just been created, which is our new case. And we can also see that the changes that we made while copying are reflected over here.